day, twice a day. My daughter lives on that side of the path, and I live over there. Um, the trash, these two recyclable bins, I have called the city, I can't tell you how many times, get rid of them. Because people will then go ahead and put um, couches, mattresses, you can see a bunch of mattresses back there. Um, I have seen, I can't tell you how many drug deals going on. Um, but just the other day, I was driving down the street, and there's two um, people who are living up in these woods. There's two, um, sorry, I'm not used to talking in front of a it's bunch okay. of people. Um, and there's tents, and um, I saw a bunch of people come out, and I thought, oh, they're just getting in their car. They actually went past the car, they're high as a kite, and I almost ran over them. So I don't know why we have people who are living in tents. It's, um, it's a shame. But I also don't want them here. So we need to work very hard together to clean up this area that's so close to the school. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marianne. And now we have Catherine Davis. Hello, everyone. Thank you guys for being here. Boy, I tell you, this is a fantastic turnout. Uh, as you know, our micro-community policing plans uh, was developed specifically toward this type of enforcement. And it wasn't developed just because of the police decided to develop them. It was developed because we did extensive outreach to our communities. You guys are that living plan. That living plan does morph uh, each time that we come out and we maybe we do something very well and a portion of that enforcement activity is no longer needed. But that constant engagement with our community is what makes this thing work. And it makes it work well. As uh, Chief O'Toole stated, that especially in this area that we've driven, driven uh, certain uh, property crimes down at least 10%. But that's not good enough for us. That is not good enough for this department. So please engage with us. Keep the efforts going. We're here. We're right here in your back pocket. We want to hear from you guys. Those testimonials that you just heard is exactly what's needed for us to keep that effort going forward. So thank you so much. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of our officers, our community police teams that are here fortifying this walk. Um, it is a very good thing. If you, there you go. There you go. They do a lot of good. Uh, a lot of good work out there. So if you get an opportunity along the walk and you see some areas of concern that you want to talk specifically to them, don't be don't be bashful. Yank them by the ear, yank them by the ponytail or the hair, and let them know exactly what you need. That's why we're here. All right. Thanks, folks. Thank you. All right, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and continue up uh, Trenton Street, and then we're gonna turn uh, right.